Hey everyone, I am here to do a new review for you guys. It is on The Devouring by Simon Holt. And I finished this on Saturday and it was crazy. I could not put this down. I was kind of stopping and starting um, a couple times, but Saturday night I had a good chunk of free time and I finished it all that night. So I could not put this down. This book was horrifically scary and awesome and amazing and I need new vocab words to describe how I feel about books because I am quite limited that way. Anyways, let's talk about uh, the book and why it's so great and scary and why you should pick it up, especially if you're looking for something scary this month to read. I definitely recommend to start off with this book. It's very good. And so let's talk about the synopsis. Protagonist in this book is Regina Holloway, aka Reggie, and she is a horror geek buff. Horror story, she loves scary stories, along with her best friend Erin Cole, who is also a horror buff, more into serial killers. Both of them feel that uh, this hobby of theirs is for more entertainment. They really have fun with it and it's more more so like a game for them. And so this book is about Reggie and her finding a, a journal, journal called The Devouring. And she believes this to be an unpublished novel. Very scary and disturbing stuff. The Devouring um, speaks of the Vowers and these Vowers are entities that take over a person's body and takes away their soul. And so when Reggie reads this as a bedtime story to her little brother Henry, the story and the plot go from there. As the story unfolds, we find out that the devouring and these vowers are not fiction as Reggie had first thought. Um, these horrors and these fears and everything she thought to be a game and was for fun is becoming real to her and to those around her. So that's the synopsis of the book. I don't want to give too much away. Let's talk about the characters. We have um, Reggie who is a really great protagonist female character. Strong in the sense that it looks like she's immune to horror and fear. She does have her vulnerabilities and when it comes to the people she loves and she softens in that aspect and I found her really strong, really brave, and just a really cool character. So uh, Reggie is really good. also have Erin who is uh, Reggie's best friend and Erin is so sweet, is helpful, and he's there for her and um, maybe a potential love interest. In YA novels, when it comes to the best friend of the female protagonist, I always think of Christopher Turner, Christopher with a K, Google him. He just plays the most awesome best friend and um, his face always comes to mind when this character comes up. He's Simon in the Mortal Instruments series for me. He is Aaron in this book and uh, when you had the lovable, geeky kind of best friend, um, Christopher Turner is in my mind and yeah. Anyways, Erin, really great character as well. We also have Henry, who is Reggie's eight-year-old brother. He plays a big part in The Devouring, and you will be seriously creeped out. And if you have any siblings around that age, I suggest um, not reading in the presence of them, because you will probably be seriously creeped out. Let's talk about the writing. Uh, the writing in this book was very well done. You read this book like how you would watch a movie. The writing in here is descriptive enough you could actually see it. It plays like a movie in your head when you read this. Non-stop from beginning to end, it was a page turner and there are no unnecessary fillers or chapters in here. Everything is plot which is awesome. Very fast paced and you want to keep reading more and more to see what's going to happen next. I thought in some parts maybe it was a little a little too fast paced maybe and things maybe were clicking a little too easily. Uh, but other than that I thought the writing was excellent and um, the plot was awesome. It was the driving force of this book so 
really great. Let's talk about cliches and horror cliches and how it was riddled throughout this book, which is a plus. Usually cliches get old and boring, but in this, for some reason in horrors, it never fails to scare the crap out of me. Oh, I think Simon Holt kind of touches base on a lot of different fears people have and it's very creepy, very scary. Being said, The Devouring by Simon Holt is a readable, a very, very recommended book, um, especially if you're starting out with horror or scary books. You had Buffy the Vampire Slayer and A Nightmare on Elm Street and they had a baby, you would get The Devouring. And if you took away the vampires and Freddy Krueger and replaced it with the Vowers, you would get the devouring. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, um, um, now.